there is a multi-trillion dollar lie being sold in the boardrooms and on the news right now. The lie is that AI is a magic button for your business. But the truth is, the AI revolution is failing miserably. I'm not just saying that. A recent extensive MIT study analyzed over 300 major corporate AI initiatives. Their conclusion was a bloodbath. 95% of these projects are failing to deliver any meaningful business results. Let that sink in. We are talking about a bonfire of venture capital, billions of dollars in investment, time and talent, all evaporating into thin air with no measurable impact. For business owners watching, this is a minefield. You are actively being sold solutions that have a 95% chance of failing. For entrepreneurs, this looks like a graveyard. You are probably thinking the gold rush is over before you even staked your claim. But what if I told you that this graveyard is actually a gold mine in disguise? That 95% failure rate is the very reason my co-founder and I built Mock AI Group and helped over 60 businesses to navigate the new era of AI strategically. We didn't get here by inventing some new revolutionary technology. We got here by obsessively studying the mistakes everyone else was making. In this video, I'm going to break down the three fatal mistakes that caused 95% of AI solutions to crash and burn. More importantly, I will give you the exact playbook to turn their mistakes into your success. Whether you want to transform your own business with AI or build a wildly profitable AI venture from scratch. My name is Matt and this is the truth about what's actually working in AI right now. So what's mistake number one? It's the most common and the most costly. I call it the tool versus system fallacy. Companies think buying an AI tool is the same as implementing an AI system. It's not. They have no idea how to use those powerful tools they're buying. The technology isn't the problem. The strategy is. They treat AI like a magic wand. They try to sprinkle it on top of their old, inefficient, broken workflows and expect a miracle to happen. It's like buying the world's most advanced hammer and using the handle to stir your coffee. The tool is incredible but you're applying it in a completely broken context. You cannot just add AI to a bad process and expect good results. You just get a slightly faster bad process. The 95% who fail try to jump AI into yesterday's workflows. The 5% who succeed build tomorrow's workflows with AI at the very core. It's a fundamental mindset shift. It requires stepping back and asking a powerful question. The question you need to ask your team isn't what AI tool should we buy? The right question is if we were starting this department from scratch today, how would we design this process with AI at its center? The answer to that question is where the real transformation lies. Anything else is just redecorating a house that's about to collapse. The second reason for failure is the magnetic pull of what I call sexy AI. Every executive wants the glory of Project Moonshot. They want the big press release about their groundbreaking AI that predicts the market trends or designs new products. They chase the glory. But the MIT study confirms a secret that we have built our entire business on. The fastest and most reliable path to profit is through brutally boring problems. While everyone else is trying to use AI to hit a home run with revenue, the real wins are the ones in the back office. Ruthlessly cutting costs, eliminating operational drag and automating the tedious work that everyone hates. Let me give you our holy shit example. This is the project that proved our thesis. So we worked with a boutique law firm. Imagine being a high skilled paralegal. You have got years of training, a sharp mind on detail and you're a critical part of the legal team. Now imagine spending a quarter of your entire mind being a glorified human search function. That was their reality. Their team of four paralegals spent a combined 200 hours every single month just doing the initial review of standard contracts like the NDAs. 200 hours. 
that's a smart person's entire working month spent on repetitive soul crashing work you didn't go to law school for that it was slow mildly expensive and a major bottleneck for the firm we didn't build them a robot lawyer who could argue in the supreme court that's the sexy project that fails we built them a boring ai tool it does one simple thing it reads contracts and flags any non-standard clauses for human review that's it and the result the time they spent on that task plummeted from 200 hours a month to just 20. that's a 90 percent reduction they save over a hundred thousand a year in billable hours their top talent is now freed up for high value work and their clients get contracts turned around in half the time look boring wins boring is measurable boring is controllable and every boring win you stack gives you the capital both financial and political to tackle the next slightly bigger problem the money isn't in the moonshots it's in the shadows fixing the plumbing of the business by the way if you're starting to think about the boring plumbing problems in your own business i have made something to help you it's a one-page pdf called the ai opportunity checklist it's a simple framework to help you audit your own departments and identify these low risk but high reward ai opportunities it's totally free and it's still first link in the description go grab it now it will help you spot this hidden gold the third and final mistake is the deadliest. It's the ego trap. I call it the inventor's bias. It's a deeply held belief that our business is unique. Our problems are unique. Therefore, we must build a unique solution from scratch in-house. This bias is the single fastest way to burn millions of dollars. The data is undeniable. The MIT report found that when companies try to build their own AI tools, only 33% of those projects ever see the light of the day. A one in three chance of survival. But when they partner up with specialist companies, the success rate for getting a project launched doubles to 66%. You literally cut your risk in half by working with an expert. Yet, the inventor's bias pushes leaders to go it alone. They forget the hidden costs. It's not just the developers' salaries, it's the ongoing maintenance, the security patches, the documentation that no one writes, the key person who built it leaving the company, and the massive, massive opportunity cost of what your best people could have been doing instead. I learned this lesson the hard way. It was our defining aha moment. Early on, we got a shot to pitch a huge retail chain. We poured months into designing a massive AI-powered predictive inventory system. It was brilliant. It was sexy. We walked into that pitch feeling like geniuses, but we walked out feeling defeated. The idea was so big, so complex, that the executives were paralyzed by the risk. It went nowhere. Just a week later, a small tech startup came to us and said, Hey, our HR manager is wasting her life answering the same 20 questions from new hires over and over again. Can you build a Slack bot for that? It was the most boring idea ever, and we built it in a week. That simple bot saved their HR manager 10 hours a week. We saw the immediate relief on our client's face. That's when it hit me. We are not in the business of selling complex technology. We are in the business of selling relief with AI. So stop boiling the ocean. Solving a small, painful, specific problem is infinitely more valuable than pitching a brilliant, sexy, million dollar idea that never gets built. Here's a simple framework. Ask yourself, is this technology core to our company's unique value proposition in the market? If the answer is no, you probably shouldn't be building it. So you see the pattern. The 95% fail because of the tool versus system fallacy, because they chase sexy projects and the inventor's bias traps them. So how do you join the 5%? You stop thinking like a vendor and start acting like a partner. This is the core philosophy of an AI transformation partner. Let me be clear on the difference. A vendor sells you a tool and the user manual. A partner delivers a strategy and a roadmap. A vendor asks what you want. A partner investigates what you need. 
A vendor disappears after the sale. A partner is there for implementation, training, and ongoing optimization. Businesses today don't need another piece of software. They're drowning in software. They need a guide, a partner who will get in the trenches with them, map out their real-world workflows, find a true source of their operational drag, and then implement a targeted solution. This is the human element that makes AI successful. It's not just about code, it's about context, culture, and change management. For the business owners watching, this is the standard that you should demand. For entrepreneurs watching, this is the standard you must become. So that's the secret. The AI gold rush isn't over. The 95% are just digging in all the wrong places with broken shovels. The information is free. The playbook is right here in front of you. The only variable now is whether you will act on it. As I mentioned, if you want to start finding these boring gold mines, download our free AI opportunity checklist. It's the first link in the description. Now you have a clear choice. If you're a business owner and you're done with guessing and you want a dedicated partner to build an AI strategy that delivers real return on investment, click the second link in the description and book a free 30 minute alignment call with my team. Clarity is your most valuable asset and that's what this call is for. And if you're an entrepreneur who wants to build a business just like this, that third link is also for you. Book a call and we can talk about how you can start and scale your own AI venture. And finally, if you want to see what it actually takes to succeed with AI in the real world, hit the subscription button and turn on the notifications. Thank you for watching. Now, go solve a real problem.